Hey everybody, it's the Ghost Joker Crusader, and today I really don't want to review this movie, but I have to because I saw it in theaters and it's important, so yeah, I'm going to be reviewing Grown Ups 2. Now, a little preface, I didn't like the first Grown Ups movie, it was cheesy, it was stupid, it was Adam Sandler going down the wrong path as usual in modern day movies, but um... I thought maybe, just maybe, Grown Ups 2 would redeem it. So I went and saw it, and I was very disappointed. So, um, the plot, if you could say there is any plot to this movie, is basically, um, four of the five main characters, one of them just disappeared. Who the hell knows where, um, Rob Schneider's character went, but he wasn't in this movie move back to their hometown just to, like, hang out all day. And the movie literally is just the four of them hanging out all day. There's no plot to this movie. I mean, it's just a bunch of random events, one after another, just enforced just so you can have celebrity and Adam Sandler common cameos. You got all Adam Sandler's friends making little grand cameos, then there's celebrity cameos, like Shaquille O'Neal plays a retarded policeman, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, Adam Sandler was ah, eh, Kevin James ah, eh, Chris Rock ah, eh, David Spade ah. Eh. Um, is it just me or was Adam Sandler's wife kind of hotter in this movie than the last movie? Just saying. Um, there was there was a lot of eye candy with like hot girls and everything, but other than that, there's nothing really good about this movie. The whole crew, the evil guys from the the antagonists, if you want to call that in this stupid movie like this, were back, but they were like idiots in this one again. Um, my major complaint, my major complaint with this 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 movie is that there's no plot. It's just them acting like retards all day. And, oh, then there's this guy named, um, Nick, played by Nick Swartzen. Oh my god, he's the same thing in every movie, like Blades of Glory, um, what was that movie? See, I don't even remember half of Adam Sandler's movie, I don't even remember what it was called, the one where it's with Jennifer Aniston? Shoot, um, oh, well, that's not the movie I'm talking about, so I'm not gonna bother looking it up right now, but, um, so yeah, this movie was kind of terrible, um, there was no story, it was very boring, there were some hilarious moments where I was laughing, but other than that, nothing really. I mean, it's much worse than the first one, um, and the first one was pretty bad. So, um, I don't know, I guess there were some comedic moments and there was some eye candy, so I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10, um, just for that. I mean, it would be a zero if there wasn't some eye candy and comedic moments, but other than that, it's a terrible movie, and I would not recommend it to anyone of any age, of any audience, um, unless, yeah, basically you're a pervert and you just want to go for eye candy, then go ahead, see this movie by all means, but there is no point to this movie whatsoever. It was just enforced to make money. Adam Sandler, what are you doing? Um, yeah, that's my review. So thanks guys for watching. Pretty short, but short and crappy. So see you guys later.